All right, so I'm gonna be programming a uh, fabric, which is forward and back uh, range inverse kinematics uh, code. Um, I have a reference of a of the math on my other screen, and I'm going to basically represent it onto my script and see if it works. I know it works because I've already done it, but you know, I just wanna mess around with it. And this is some math, but not a full amount. Um, but you do need to create a model in workspace, but you know, equals workspace dot model. And then we're going to do local part equals instance dot new um, part. And then we're going to do part dot material equals uh, email dot material dot, mm, yeah. And uh, no, fabric. So it's like a cord. No, wait, smooth plastic. There we go. Part dot anchored equals true. Part dot can collide equals false. Part dot brick color equals brick color dot blue. And we're gonna do dot mm, new, and then we're going to do jet. Really black. There we go. Uh, function um, build chain. We'll name it. Start, finish, and ITR. I think that's integer if I remember. Um, and local points, comma length uh, equals start, comma this. And we're gonna do local distance equals um, this will equal finish uh, subtract by start. Local chains equals math dot floor, which is rounding it to um, the distance dot magnitude. So it's going to round it so it's not bound down by the uh, decimal. And we're going to do divided by ITR. For I equals one comma chains do points. And then we're going to do in uh, box brackets I plus one. And then it equals points. Then this little the square brackets again. I then plus distance dot unit times itr not unity. That's completely different engine. Itr. And then return points. So it's going to return the points anytime you call this uh, build chain, as long as you add in the start, finish, and the um. I don't even know what this is really. I just kind of put it there. Um, once you put all those in, then this will return the amount of points in the thing. And then we'll do local parts equals, and then just a blank table. Then local p equals build chain and a function start dot position comma finish dot position. Comma, and then the higher this number, the less chains or the less joints it will have. So if you do one, it's going to have the most amount of joints that it can have. Well, zero would probably have the most, but I do one just in case it completely breaks studio. And ten would only have two joints, so it's from one to ten. And but anywhere after those, it's just going to be a stiff block. Probably. I haven't really done it, but I've only really experimented from 1 to 10. Then we're going to do local chain equals ik dot new um, p comma finish dot position and function update and then we're going to do chain dot target equals finish dot position. Then we're going to do chain colon solve and 4i comma underscore in I pairs. That's a different one. Chain dot joints. Do. So I have a. Um, it's not necessarily a reference. It's just basically the code on my other screen. Um, this is basically. Um, this code was not made by me. This was made by a really smart dude. I'm just showing that you know anybody can do this shit if they think. Um. 
Really, anybody can do the math that's required. Also, this is where I got the code from and the fabric and everything. It's made by Ego Mouse, which is the, um, he is a really smart developer for Roblox. Not for Roblox, but on Roblox. But we are then going to get the, uh, let me pull up this. Is it this? Then we can do um, uh, local n equals i greater than number chain dot joints then, wait, why am I putting a then? And i plus one. Then we're gonna do if and then local v equals chain dot joints and minus chain dot joints square brackets i and then if not parts greater or that then parts that i equals parts no part colon clone then that then parts hold on wait, i got an itch in my ear parts um um, parts I, oops, what, oh, parts I parent equals model, end, parts I dot size equals vector three dot new, point one comma point one comma V dot, mm, Parts uh, I dot C frame equals C frame. This is the math part of the code. Well, all this has been math up until this point. This is the mm. this is the uh, I think it's the PEMDAS shit. I'm not 100% sure. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's not PEMDAS. This, that's for sure. It's just basic math. Alright, and that's it. And then you just call update, and then you just do finish dot change, connect, update. You could also probably do a start dot change, connect, update. That way both ends will update. And we've got, oh, well, I guess that doesn't change anything. But yeah, as you can see. And if it goes outside of the thing, then it just extends a little bit further inward. You get the you get the picture. Same thing with up. Oh, I forgot to enter the increase. Up, you know. And then you can do thing. You can actually do things like um, cabling. I can show you uh, that the higher this number goes, the less joints it has. If we go to ten, actually, we'll try at zero. I'm gonna actually save this real quick as an untitled game. I saved the game. And as you can see, it was exhausted a lot of execution time. And that's because it's too many things to generate. Now, if we do point 0.1, it will generate, and it will be really, really gosh darn smooth. Like, every point 0.1 is going to be a new joint. Like, just look at how sm smooth this is. That is just beautiful. Yeah, that's it.